Much following Zulu this morning is the crew of Rex. That parade starts at 10 o'clock on Napoleon Avenue. This year's theme, omens and auguries. Let's go live to Meg Ferris at the Rex Den, who is live with the father of the Queen of Carnival. And I loved how he explained to his daughter that she was queen through her PowerPoint, Meg. Absolutely. That's who I have here, Merritt Lane. And I love it, Merritt. I've known you since we were children yeah. and I love that every member is walking by and going like that to you. Uh, look at the smile on your face. Well, tell me what happened this morning. You did the Royal Run? Oh yeah, this morning we got Her Majesty up and we went to the park and we did the Royal Run and uh, she won the race. I was very proud of that. No, you're kidding me! Exactly. <laughs> and uh, we had some extra fun because we uh, saluted Pro Bono Publico's work. Uh, you know, Rex organization is giving about a million dollars a year now to the public education system and those organizations that support it. We're very proud of that. I'm so glad you brought that up. A lot of people don't realize that they say the greatest free show on earth, but so much is donated by members to put on the greatest free show on earth and to give back to our public. Absolutely. And Sarah selected Youth Run NOLA as her particular charity, and so we gave golden shoelaces to some of the children and the runners out there in celebration of Youth Run NOLA, which is a great organization. Wonderful. Now, they were telling me, uh, the anchors were telling me that they love the way you let Sarah know she was going to be queen. Y'all went to her, you and, you and Ellie. So Sarah's a student at the University of Virginia, and over their Easter break, we were going to meet in New York, and unfortunately, the East Coast got snowed in, and she could not get up there. So we went to Charlottesville, Virginia, several weeks later at a PowerPoint presentation that kind of went through the family history. And she was like, Dad, you know, c c we're going to dinner. Oh, know? yeah, typical teenager. Dad, come on. <laughs> Absolutely. And so it finally comes up and says, so who do you think the Queen of Carnival 2020 is going to be? And it popped up with, if ever I cease to love, and a baby picture of her. And she looked at me like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be you, girl. And a long, long history. Uh, I know we were just talking about Deborah Yuji. Uh, was 1979, my year, and, and how much fun. And I gave you some trivia just right before we went on camera. The Queen's uncle, Merritt, I'm about to break some news here, was my sixth grade boyfriend. Charlie was my sixth grade boyfriend. We danced at Miggy's together. Unbelievable, breaking news. Well, Charlie will be here riding with me as my guest, so maybe we can uh, rekindle a little bit of that uh, relationship. <laughs> 150 years later, I was here for the first Rex. Did you know that, 1872? That's great. Okay. That's fantastic. Merritt, give me a hug. I'm so proud and happy for you, and I just see the smile. Give Ellie, your wife, my love. This is an exciting, exciting, exciting day. Thank you. So all right, all right. Very good. All right, well, that's it from the Wexham. But wait, Merritt, we got to show everybody at home one quick thing. If Troy will tilt up, this is why I love New Orleans. Y'all, look at this. Some guys on one of the floats years ago wanted some McDon McDonald's, no, no, Burger King. That is and, and, and they went, they had one of the lieutenants ride his horse through the drive through <laughs> and get some Burger King. Okay. That is, that is our king. Story Charbonnet. Uh, that's the king. That's Story Charbonnet. Okay, I just found out. That was Story Charbonnet. We're going to show him to you in a little while. Okay, we'll be back. Thanks, Meg. Everybody loves that chicken from Popeye's.